U.S. presidential candidates Joe Biden and Donald Trump had decidedly different schedules this week. Trump is in a New York courtroom facing 34 felony counts of falsifying business records. I don't know how you can have a trial that's going on right in the middle of an election. Not fair. Not fair. Biden's on the campaign trail near his childhood home in the neighboring state of Pennsylvania. Oh, Trump's trial involves him attempting to squash unflattering news stories during his 2016 campaign. Prosecutors say Trump falsified payments to a former lawyer to hide that the money was going to two women who said they had earlier extramarital sexual encounters with the then candidate. Trump has pleaded not guilty to the charges, and his lawyers argue the payments were legitimate legal expenses. Trump says tying him up in court is election interference by a weaponized judiciary. This is an assault on our country. As a country that's failing, it's a country that's run by an incompetent man who's very much involved in this case. This is really an attack on a political opponent, that's all it is. Trump does not have to testify at this trial, but former federal prosecutor Nyama Ramani thinks politics means he will. This case is as much for the courtroom as it is for the court of public opinion. And Trump is in the middle of an election year and he will take the stand and he will talk to the American people and those undecided voters. I think him asserting his right to remain silent, I think that will be used against him by undecided voters. With his opponent in court, Biden has the presidential campaign trail to himself. Donald Trump looks at the world differently than you and me. He wakes up in the morning in Mar-a-Lago thinking about himself, how he can help his billionaire friends gain power and control and force their extreme agenda on the rest of us. Listen to what he says. He says, quote, I'll be dictator on day one. Quote, I am your retribution. Biden said he and Trump have competing visions for the U.S. economy that raise questions of fundamental fairness. Folks, where we come from matters. When I look at the economy, I don't see it through the eyes of Mar-a-Lago. I see it through the eyes of Scranton, and that's not hyperbole. That's a fact. Where honesty and decency matter, where faith matters, where family is everything. Trump says being exactly tied up in court while Biden is out campaigning is not fair. I should be right now in Pennsylvania, in Florida, in many other states, North Carolina, Georgia, campaigning. This is all coming from the Biden White House because the guy can't put two sentences together. He can't campaign. They're using this in order to try and win an election. Trump has squeezed in some New York campaigning around the trial, but his time in more competitive states appears, for the moment, confined to the weekends. Trump rallied supporters in Pennsylvania last Saturday and has a North Carolina event scheduled for this Saturday. Scott Stearns, VOA News.